dudes how are you all hope everybody doing good today i came with another one informative video regarding the strategies to get grade b in oet speaking so let us see the tips to score oet test exam uh, the b grade now let us talk about how to improve oet speaking trust even though you are quite good at english and speaks confidently but when it comes on oet speaking test something we have to keep it in your mind so let us see the seven strategies to get above grade b in oet speaking test the first one play your role second one breaking the ice third one keep the conversation on fourth one understand the patient or the client that means the interlocutor fifth one upgrade your language sixth one be ready for unexpected turns during your oet role play the last one maintain your role play so when you are practicing your role play for speaking examination please keep it in your mind all these relevant tips first one let us see play your role in the speaking section there is an interlocutor who might be playing the role of a patient or any other client therefore you have to play your role confidently you have to act as a real nurse your task is to act like that and more specifically be a professional as you are dealing with your real client or patient because you have to be like a nurse the real nurse and you are dealing with your patient in a particular settings according to the task card second one breaking the ice the most important thing the candidate should always take care of is he or she is the one who will start the conversation first therefore you need to keep this thing in mind you will be in full on the professional setting so the candidate that means you has to ask the question or talk to the patient so in here you should not wait for the client to ask you the doubt or ask you the other uh, topics so you are the one should start the conversation then and there and the next tip is that and i mean in here you have to think about another one more thing don't assume that the patient will ask or start the conversation as you will be in that role of a nurse patient so break the ice and start giving advice or asking questions however two out of 10 patients will ask you some questions they will start the conversation otherwise you have to start it off your own this is nothing but i explained in the earlier and the next one um, you have to understand the patient or client that means the interlocutor all to this phase is all about speaking at the time the candidate must listen to his patient also because in order to reply to him back you must know what to say after that most importantly don't just focus on your results focus on the interaction too so here most of the students they will neglect what the patient is talking what interlocutor is talking so meanwhile you have to give concentration on what interlocutor is talking in between the conversation next one is upgrade your language don't speak fast while talking to the patients stay calm and fly when they the candidate must know how to talk to a depressed 70 year old man or on the other side how to give a reply to an aggressive 19 year old man it should not be same so always the core component of oet speaking is that you should be polite in all the ways during your interview you have to be ready for unexpected turns there might be such situations can come where they ask such odd questions which will not be there in your writing i mean the speaking task card it is just to check your flexibility in your language and respond so nothing is there to be worried when they will ask some odd question so something which will be relevant to your question but you can ask like a free in a manner so don't forget the interviewer knows everything that is going in the real world therefore he or she merely wanted to know how you respond in such tough situation so just train your mind to give relevant answers during the role play even which is not indicated in your task card lastly the most important thing maintain your role play which can help the candidate to score grade b in oet speaking test to maintain the role you are playing that is as a healthcare professional you have to maintain these three strategies interaction body and conclusion 
so for all e all role plays oet role plays there are three this key points first one is the introduction the candidate should first introduce himself and start the conversation there is no mandatory that you have to start with your self introduction but according to the task card you have to introduce the scenario in the body you should go with the flow that is happening in the conversation according to your the task last one in conclusion the candidate can conclude by saying so we have talked about the use of this medicine or you understand your problem or is there anything is there to be clarified so the last should be concluded by you not by the patient so here this is the uh, the tips which will be helpful for your role play cards so i hope that you can um, go ahead with all these tips and you can uh, practice in the same way while practicing with your uh, interlocutor or your teacher or your friends whatever keep it in your mind these seven key roles and try to practicing in the same way thank you for watching bye bye